I'm Candice Moraga here with another installment of our Chemistry Lab series. And today we are going to be doing a lab on physical and chemical changes. So let me just go ahead and start getting together the proper materials. Looks like first we need to open up our lab pack here with some things drawn before they set aside from oops, the previous lab. Helps if you're not too close. Okay, we're going to need our beaker, 100 milliliter glass. We're going to need our burner fuel right here. Of course, our gloves again, and our safety goggles. A rod, string rod, glass. I used before. And we're going to need test two. It says here five out of five, but I know better than that. Um, so we're just going to need one test two. And that came in the bubble bag, but I already recycled that to start something. We're going to need, I'm pretty sure we're going to need a burner stand. Uh, if we're going to use burner fuel, I'll just set this aside here. I know we're going to need a well plate. This one is a well plate 24. Here is our well plate 96. I know I put the test tube in a plastic bag so I'd be able to keep track of them in here. There's that bag. I'm going to need also out of this bag, I have my matches. Our test tube. Let's get that in the well. Test tube clamp holder. Ooh, that looks like a caliper. This back. Ah, there we go. Cool. This middle do not. Maybe I don't. Guess that stays. Let's practice with that. Good. Neat. I like this thing. It sort of reminds me of some sort of scary, I don't know, gynecological appointment or something. <laughs> okay, next we have the test tube cleaning brush. Oh, I saw that. Can we go with that? Nice. Ooh, that's it. Okay. Then we have, let's see, those are all the supplies from the lab pack, we're going to need our auxiliary supplies now. Oh, there we go. Looks like I'm scrolling a little bit too quickly there. Scroll that down. Oh, and of course, I already filled out all of my pre-lab questions here. I actually did this like last week or something. But now I see how it would make sense with this lab. We have a whole chart here with our physical and chemical properties. Um, and it looked like when I looked at this experiment, um, that made sense with the items on here. OK, so in our auxiliary supplies bag, we have litmus, litmus paper blue in a bag, 2 inch by 3 inch, and also litmus. Yeah. litmus paper red in bag 2 inch by 3 inch. And that just goes, I guess, to show how, how often I see the word litmus in daily life. Uh, okay. I'm looking for my little bag in here. Here we go. This is 
our auxiliary bag. And we've got our litmus blue and our litmus red. Okay, so that's what we need from the auxiliary supplies bag. Now we need from our experiment bag, physical and chemical properties. Okay, I think I see that now. There we go. Physical and chemical properties. We have a scissors here. sure we have everything in here. Uh, a copper carbonate tube in a vial. Mm -hmm. I get scared when working with chemicals, so this is when I always start putting on my gloves. I don't even start without the gloves. I even like to put my supplies on. I know everything is contained, but it should never be too safe. Okay. Ah, here's our copper carbonate tube. Oh, so pretty. It's green. So I like when a penny turns green. Okay, then we have copper nitrate crystals and vial. Ah, our copper nitrate crystals are blue. Oh, these are really pretty. They look like something I would want to sprinkle on top of cupcakes, but maybe I won't. Um, copper metal, six to eight pieces in bag. Oh, that must be one of these. Okay, one of these. Let's do it. Ah, there we go. Copper metal, six to eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like a like BB shot. Um, then we have hydrochloric acid, four milliliters in a dropper bottle. Hydrochloric acid. This is it. Corrosive. See why I'm wearing the gloves. Okay. Magnesium metal pieces, six to eight in bed. We've got plenty of them here. These are magnesium metal pieces. And then magnesium oxide powder. This is a magnesium oxide powder. Avoid contact with eyes and skin. Thus, for open bag. Um, pipe it. Empty short stem label. Pipe it's like this. So this is not quite a great sign. So let's see here. Um, sodium chloride and vial full. Yes, we have. Sodium hydroxide, four milliliters in a dropper bottle. Oh, how did that fall out? Okay, sodium hydroxide in the dropper bottle. So some either pipettes around here? No. Okay. Um then we have zinc mossy six to eight pieces, which we have right here. So it looks like we're missing two pipette empty short stem. Maybe they're just record, uh, referring to these, the fact that these are in the pipette. Yeah, sodium hydroxide and the hydrochloric acid. 
Okay, it's just lipping, listing them separately, I guess. One's saying that they're in four millimeters in a dropper bottle. Okay, it's just saying, and then sodium hydroxide in a dropper bottle. Oh, okay, so it lists separately the pipe it dropper bottle or something. Oh, it's just empty. There's supposed to be two empty ones. Okay, well, this thing, it looks like sometimes it's wrong. I mean, it also is the bad five test tubes. I'm hoping this is not going to screw things up. Maybe I should look through here just in case. Here's a couple of empty pipettes. They don't have labels on them, but they were in the auxiliary bag. And we're just going to take them out because you never know. Okay, I think I'm going really long on this video again. Okay, so I'm going to clear some of this stuff out of the way because Or area to be messy. We can see I'm ready to begin my lab on physical and chemical changes, and I'll see you in the next installment of Chemistry Lab Experiments. Peace out!